question from Alex Ayers, and he's, he wants to know your thoughts on uh, a number of people coming out with methods uh, that they're, they're marketing in Z-Books. What are your thoughts on this trend? That's, um, I have a lot of pet peeves when it comes to programming, you know, and one of them is the word intensity, because it's constantly used incorrectly. Um, the other one is methods. You know, methods of training are things like, you know, the dynamic effort method, the repetition method, you know, the max effort method, the you know, circuit max method, uh, strip set method. I mean, they're, they're, they're things that have been coined and been around and time tested and, you know, they're, they're, they're concepts that, have, that are part of the whole training scheme and, and program. So I don't think anybody's coming out with a new method. You know, I think they're coming out with new programs, but they're calling them methods, which is kind of where I have a little peeve about that because it's not a fucking method, it's a program. Now from that standpoint, I'm, I think the more programs people come out with, the better, you know, because it gives more readers an idea on how to structure their own training. Now a lot of programs, that, that I've seen and I've purchased many of them over the years are there's really nothing new. It's just people putting things together in different ways. You know, it's a different stew, more or less, but it's still stew. And I think the more people can be exposed to those programs and the more programs people can actually look at and then try to figure out why things are being done the way they're being done, the more educated they can become as lifters in their own right. When a method or program, as they call it, you know, as a program, or as a method, I flipped it up. When a program comes out, what I like about the ebook style programs that come out is, as long as they're priced within reason, you know, I think this whole affiliate thing's a crock of shit where it's 60 bucks and you know, whatever. I mean, it's, people have no idea what really goes on in this industry. But um, when it's a good book and they, they give the program and then they're explaining why they're doing the things that they're doing in the program, that's a valuable resource. Because most of the time, what you're going to find are programs that are going to come out. And there's not going to be a lot of explanation in it. You have to do a lot of study. You know, kind of look to see, okay, what is waving here? what's changing, what parameters are changing, um, what's going on behind this program. And that's how I've always looked at programs. I wanna know what's going on behind it. I don't care what's at face value. I wanna know why it was done the way it was done. And that's why I like a lot of the eBooks that come out because they do go into detail about that, which takes that one step out from a lot of people. Now, some of them that I've seen that from the logic's of bullshit. <laughs> You know, and when you look at it, it doesn't really match what they're trying to say. <coughs> but that's that's kind of how it goes. So I'm all in favor of it. I think it's a good thing. You know, it, it exposes people to, you know, how other people think and how other people put their programs together. And for some people, you know, they, they do need to be told exactly what to do. I, I think they really should be used more for studying as why the person put it together the way they, they did. I have no objection or no problems with people working with other people as far as programming. I've done it most of my life for somebody else handled my programming. But I do seriously believe it's more individual as you move up the chain, become intermediate and advanced. It has to become more individual than if you're a beginner. And even a beginner, it needs to be somewhat individualized because everybody's got different limitations. As a beginner, it could be not so much weak points because everything's weak, but they may have health limitations. They may have joint limitations, you know, and major muscle imbalances and things that need to be corrected and addressed at a different level. So I'm not totally against it. I just, I just don't like the word method being used because it's really not a method.